Hello, my name is Colorful, and this is my very quick guide on CIVNav. So my notes on pre-planning would be that you want to have two on each station, you don't really need much ROM, and you don't actually need CVs at all unless you just feel like shooting at the rafts, which I never do. Some notes about the map. There are rafts on the map. If you're thrown, you want these to ram your ship to give you borders. While they're on your ship, they will decrease your station productivity, but you need them on the ship to convert them. There's occultist ships, which you want to avoid. There's no point in even trying to sink them, because you don't get any reward from it, and you're just likely to get yourself sunk. The giant rocks with winds facing outward all around it are spawners. You want to avoid these, because at any moment they can push out a bunch of rafts or cultist ships, which can immediately overrun you or shoot you lots. The green whirlpools move backwards compared to regular whirlpools, which means they move counterclockwise instead of clockwise. And the fog, which is usually surrounding the island and where you want to go into, makes your stations less effective, so you want to avoid it for as long as you can. When you first enter the map, the first thing you should do is take a quick glance around the map and make note of where the rafts are, where the cultist ships are, where the fog is, where the island is, and where the spawners are. You then want to look for a good spot to sit that has access to rafts, but is away from the fog and cultist ships. I define a good spot as a place where nearby rafts are located, and it has at least two easy escapes for you to run away if you run into trouble. From there, you look for an easy path to get to the island, prefer and preferably get a backup path. You want to move into the map fairly quickly so that the tokens start generating. You gotta make sure that you click the flower indicator, because doing this makes it take less tokens to generate. From here, you just wait for rafts to hit you, and you wait for your stations to get you tokens. It's important during a CI not to use too many moves when you don't have to, because having a good stockpile of moves is important for dodging the cultist ships and for pushing through the fog to the island. You'll see often I keep hopping off the BNAV puzzle to look at my borders. It's because when I get nervous, I have a very bad memory, so I just keep looking at it because I can't remember things. But you have to hop off the BNAV station in order to see how many borders you have in order to know when you should use your token. At around this point, I realize I'm not getting any raft spawns here, so I have to go back towards the start because I don't want to risk going into the fog or by the cultist ship to get more rafts. So I'm trying to find an easy way down through the spawners without getting too close to them because it's dangerous to get close to them. And as you'll see as I'm going by, it'll actually spit out two cultist ships right behind me, which could have been very dangerous if I got any closer. So you definitely have to keep care around those spawners because they can instantly overrun you if you don't. The main thing you're going to be doing in a CI is just collecting borders without getting overrun. To avoid getting overrun when you have borders, you can either shoot the rafts or just avoid them. I prefer to move away from them because if you miss your shots, they can still overrun you. You need to watch on the amount of borders you have, where the spawners are and where the cultist ships are, and find safe paths between them all as you gather borders and use your tokens. Usually you can accomplish this moving in a circle along the outside wall. The edges of the maps are the safest place because it's harder to be surrounded, and you can get off the map if you get into trouble. The cultist ships are also less likely to come towards the edges of the map. To get thralls, you need to use the flower token while you have borders on your ship. The silver token only kicks borders off, so you need the gold token to get thralls. You can only turn zombies into thralls, and the token randomly acts on between 1 and 4 borders on your ship. So you want to generally maintain at least 4 borders at all times to maximize the possible effectiveness of your token. When you're running through the CI, if you run into trouble and have to run away, I recommend that you try to run in a straight line, because in order for them to shoot you, they have to turn, so that either means they'll fall behind quickly, or they'll just chase you the entire way. It's always probably going to be better to take a couple rams and risk taking a shot, so you want to just bounce off the rocks a few times if it means avoiding getting hit by the cultists and getting caught. When you get all the thralls you need for your ship, you want to start looking at your path that you took. You want to double check it to make sure that there's no ships lingering around on it. And you want to try not to get any more borders. Borders, when you hit the island, will join the first fray, which isn't usually a problem, but it's just annoying and inconvenient. So if you can get another token on the way, then you just use it before you go in to kick the rest of the borders off. So once you get your thralls, you want to start looking at your path that you're going to use to get into the island. You want it to be a, a relatively straight path. You want to try and take advantage of the wind so you don't stay in the fog very long. If you have damage before you go in, tr if you can do it, try and deal with it before you go in, because the fog will decrease the effectiveness of all your stations. So you want to just avoid getting caught by the other ships, run in a straight line as I said before, and 
if you have borders, if you get another token, just use it to kick them off because you can't get more thralls. And if there's thralls left over, or sorry, borders left over on your ship as you go into the island, they'll just join the first fray, which isn't usually a problem, but it can just kind of be annoying. So if you don't have to deal with them, you might as well get rid of them. If you're just planning on picking up your last few borders to convert on the way in, it's important to remember that the enlightened ones can't be turned into thralls. So if you have a ship full of enlightened ones, you might want to go walk around the deck and make sure you have at least a zombie if you're trying to pick up your last thrall on the way in. So I hope this little video helped to maybe overcome some fears about CI navving because honestly it's probably easier to be nav a CI than Kraken because if you get hit it's a lot less punishing. It's just that if you really screw up you lose your ship. So good luck and have fun with the Cursed Isles.